Okay, I'm going to show you now for the binding what I use. It's this uh, grunge paper uh, from Tim Holtz and uh, it, it comes six sheets and it's six by twelve. So I, um, I use um, just one sheet per, um, um, the, for, for the spine of the book. And this uh, grunge paper is uh, very flexible. Another thing that I use is um, duct tape, but I use this one that comes in sheets uh, because it's easier to cut and, and you just can use the size that you need. So this one comes in um, eight and a half by 11. So um, you can use this kind of uh, duct tape as well but you have to use like two stripes okay so um, I prefer this one though uh, what I do first is um, put the duct tape on um, on the paper because I, I tried before putting the grunge paper but uh, this one, it's a little bit hard to glue. You cannot use any kind of glue. It had to be hot glue for that one. So if you put hot glue on this paper, which is cardstock, it's going to make bumps and it's, it doesn't go very well. But um, with this one works better. So you just put this one first to grab all of the pages so when you fold back and forth all of your pages uh, they are going to be protected with the duct tape okay so let's put this one first and then this one with hot glue we're going to glue on top of this one so I'm going to show you why okay. right now we're going to I'm sorry okay right now the first thing that we're going to do is uh, put the book in a way that it's easier to um, put the duct tape. So for me, it's going to be like this, like this uh, way, because you can push this one. You can put all the pages to the side. So we are going to put the duct tape here. I, I cut the width, the width of this uh, the spine plus half of an inch on each side. So I peel the duct tape and I'm going to start right here. I have to calculate it's better to take them all I know that I have to leave one uh, half of an inch on this side so okay that's going to be about and before I glue, I just try to open very well the book. Then you you open the pages. So you can start gluing and in each of the spaces that you made with uh, the cardstock when you feel that it's totally straight then you start like rubbing so your duct tape and the cardstock will be um, adhere so then you're going to glue the side
Okay, now I'm going to do like this. Just to make sure that the duct tape goes very well on the paper. Now for the to the other side. Now I can see that it's very well done. Can you see? Straight. But what happens when you just put duct tape and then something else on top? What is going to happen is that when you open the pages, it folds like uh, too much. And uh, I don't like because what sometimes the pages go like this. And it, uh, it's, uh, it bothers me to, to, to have a wiggly book. Okay? So I prefer something a little bit um, like um, um, hard up here. It's not too soft like this one. I don't, I don't like the way that it looks like a wave up here when you just leave the book. So that's why I put this one, uh, a piece of grunge paper. Um, I put up here on top of the duct tape. So that helps to make it a little bit hard. Okay, so we are going to glue this one. Um, I'm going to glue this one with a hot glue. And it had to be uh, exactly the size of the spine you cannot make bigger because then when you open the pages uh, the, it's going to uh, touch on the other one and it had to be inside okay so try to cut inside this one this piece right here had to be exactly between the cover so you measure very well how what what is the size of your spine and you're going to glue it just inside okay um, we are going to do this one I'm going to do this one now and let's see the same I have to do like that and I'm going to it's hard because I'm on the camera and okay what I do first is I just put a piece I mean a little bit of Cut the glue first. And then After it glues right here, then I turn the book to the other side, and I I start doing it the rest of the 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 paper, and I, I like to put like lines or hot glue. And I press it very well. And I open and I put more lines. And I press.
then the last part I press this one and because the hot glue um, dries very fast I think it's done okay now that you have that binder it's different because then this one it's not too soft it's not too bendable though uh, when you open the pages when you open the pages it has the shape of a, a, a real book see okay the next step is um to do the to do the the part that covers the spine so the grunge paper is already painted and i'm going to put up here on my scoreboard and i'm going to um make the line to fold that side and mine is uh, one and a half for each side so I'm going to have the two lines right here and it's easy to to make the fold and it's going to be very straight and right here okay th this is how it's going to look so i know that i don't have to glue this part up here just the sides and this is the book so i'm going to put it up here And I'm going to start gluing on the sides. See? And it's going to look like this. And I'm, I'm going to put ribbon right here. I always put ribbon. And I'm going to put ribbon up here to cover. To cover this part. The, the, the edge of this. Okay? So I'm going to do it and I'm going to show you when it's done, okay? Okay, now the book has um, the, the cover for the spine, okay? And what I did is I just glue with, um, what is my E6000 over here? With this glue it's the same as hot glue but um it's a cold and like a gel and this one um glues very well with no bumps don't use the hot glue on the sides because what is going to happen that this one because it dries uh, you will see the bumps of the lines right here and it, it doesn't look good when you touch it okay so if you want a firm smooth touch when you use this uh, grunge paper, you have to use the E6000. Um, you cannot put any other liquid glue because um, it doesn't glue the grunge paper. It needs to do something very strong and this is a strong. Okay, so you just uh, pour the gel. You have to be very careful and clean. You have to ha have a, a wet towel to clean your hands every time. You have to put a, a, another another paper or mat that it's clean after you finish one side and everything it's clean then you um, clean your hands and clean the area put another paper and then turn to the other side and do the other side because this one is very very sticky and messy if you just touch too much then it's going to be all over your book so you don't want that right oh and don't forget that uh, E6000 when you pour and you just leave it um, and make it smooth and everything um, you have to leave it overnight so you can do it at night or maybe like about four hours because it needs to dry so I do it overnight I always uh, when I'm going to 
put this kind of glue I just do it right put the glue and then leave it uh, like in a clean safe place that uh, the book is not going to move or something or fall and then um, the next day it's completely dry and clean okay then uh, I just put the ribbon um, on the sides and as you can see um, I uh, fold it to the inside I forgot to tell you that uh, if you are going to put ribbon you have to uh, put this part up here this mat on this page on the cover last I had to fix it mine because I did it first but when you're going to do it um, when you're going to put the ribbon you first put the cover put the ribbon uh, put the spine everything and these are going to be the last uh, mats that you're going to put okay the last pages um on the cover the in the inside of the cover so believe me it's going to be easier for you because i had to fix this one and I, it took me time carefully pulling up and then put the ribbon inside and then glue it again so don't make the same mistake and it's going to look good when the ribbon it goes inside it doesn't fray nothing happens okay so mine is done and I'm going to finish with um, a little more embellishment okay this is the final part um the book is done and what I did is I made this um frame and I use cardboard I mean chipboard I use chipboard and then um, basil paper and this is a cardstock and I'm going to do a very quick um, tutorial on this one too when I put um, the video of the insert and then I just put this one as a title as chipboard as well and um, school days because um, it will be everything about school and I just have a picture up here of my daughter when she was like about three and um, going, I use this one as a template and I'm, all the wallet size are two by three so uh, I was um, using this one to, to put the picture and measure so right here um, it will hold any wallet size and if they want to change every year so they just they just have to remove it and then put the new one okay so um, right here and I added um, a stickers that I found um, I bought a long time ago I don't see them anymore because it was in clearance when I bought it and uh, these are crayons and um, they are like uh, plastic it looks like 3d so and I put them all around the book it's just a package of I think 12 that's it and um, it didn't do anything else to the insert it's the same as I show you um, so I just added this um, crayons right here this is one of the tags that I put and then uh, I just staple it but I didn't want to show the staple that's why I put um, the crayon on top and this is a Bible verse that says commit to the Lord whatever you do and he will establish your plans from Proverbs 16 3 and it is a plus there is a mat up here for the big picture 4 by 6 um, then we have up here another Bible verse that says be strong and courageous do not uh, terrify do not be discouraged for the Lord your um, God will be with you wherever you go from Joshua 1 9 and I put a um, um, crayon as well and you know this one I showed you before and right here we remember the tag that I made I also added uh, crayon on top so it looks like very child <laughs> childish okay. right here there is another uh, crayon that I just put and everything it's the same as I showed you before I added the crayons right here and this page doesn't have anything so they can put a lot of pictures and I'm added up here another Bible verse that says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge but fools despise wisdom and discipline Proverbs 1 7 and a crayon right here and as I said uh, before I added the letters that says Caleb and I didn't uh, put anything else because they are going to put the pictures that will uh, cover all the mat and here is another Bible verse that says trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight Proverbs 
three, five, and six. So um, you you know how this one is. And here is something that I print from the internet. It's a quote. I mean, it's a it's a design, but it's a um, Bible verse. And I just printed because it says up here the author, Julie Chan, Julie Chin. I think, and it's for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in the future. So right here is another, um, uh, the last page is going to be just like that, plain. And right here, the ribbon, it looks simple for me, um, it, but it, it, it's fine for school the colors, the primary colors and everything. So I think uh, this is going to be a good keepsake for him. Okay, that will be all. Thank you very much and God bless you everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye.